Good morning, good morning, good morning. Here we are. And we're looking at preparing right now to go fish San Diego Bay. So what I got pulled up here is my maps and I base off of maps and I have books too. This is Fishing California Saltwater. It can give you some overall general ideas and techniques on fishing these waters and gauge where you want to go at what time. So first what I do is uh, figure out where I want to fish and that depends on the time of the year and the fish that I want to target. So San Diego Bay in the winter time, I want to get a halibut. So we're going to be looking for halibut today and then we might get some spotted bay bass, some sand bass, some calico bass or some other stuff in the bay. But the next up that we do is look at the wind forecast. Wind is super, super important. So I use this wind waves weather and I type in wind waves weather and I search that on Google, any location in the US. I use this for Shelter Cove. I use it for uh, Northern California, Central California, everywhere. So go ahead and take a look at the wind, double check the wind off a couple different sites. So this is windwavesweather.com. And this is another good one right here. This is windy. There's an app for this too, but this is the right here on the computer. You can actually go in and pinpoint specific areas right here. So this is the, we got a south wind at three knots right now. This is the area that I'm gonna be fishing all up in here. So let's see what happens as the day progresses. You go down here and you hit this play button and you see how the day progresses. So you go from up to six knots midday back down. So come in here to Tuesday, 1 a.m., 8, 9, 10. It's going to be at four knots, seven knots, eight knots. So we're maxing out at eighth knots, which isn't bad. And that matches what it shows over here too. This is miles per hour. So windy saying it's going to be a little bit windier. What's nice about the wind waves weather also is it gives me the tides here. I see that the 7.56 AM, there's a low tide and then there's a high tide at 122. So we're going to fish it in that incoming tide at the, with the movement. It even gives you the swell height when I'm looking at La Jolla and stuff like that. It's got the swell height and uh, wind gusts, of course. And then uh, it's got the air, the temperature and how clear it's going to be. So this is a great website to use. I use this. It's free. You can look it up for anywhere in the U.S., anywhere actually in the world and get your report and plan out your fishing forecast. So this is how I do it. I hope this helps. Okay, we're taking a little sneak peek right now into my dry bag that I keep on the skiff with me. And what, I got my other GoPro because I like to get two angles, some extra batteries. My, uh, I've already lost my AirPods, so I use wired headphones to be able to talk on the water to people. Uh, some, some sunscreen, my sunglasses for when the sun comes out. I got the Costa inshore frames. I've had these things for years. You can see they're all rusted out on the side and then uh got my lights just in case i need those for some reason and then the face buff for the mask and we'll have the coffee going we'll roll downstairs after we check the forecast here then we go down and we prep to go through the checklist on the motor and the electronics and the tackle throw the stuff in the truck and head out so let's do it i like to also look at the conditions outside and see what it seems like it's pretty gray and foggy right now and here's what we're working with with preparing the solo skiff so we got the bare bones right here we got to put the seat the new seat that i just did you can check out the video on that that i make and take the wheels that i use for transport i gotta put the motor on it so we'll check the oil we'll do the motor this is kind of the list of how I get, get, get going. I got the H-bar ready to go. So first things first, you gotta get the motor on the back of this gift. We were transporting it up to Northern California at the end of the year, catching those rockfish up in Monterey. Well, we got it right here. the motor. 
motor, and a Mercury 6 horsepower. Clamps on to this transom here. I have these ropes tied down to my H rails. And I go ahead and tie these. Okay, this is just for extra. And I got these ropes. These are heavy duty ropes from West Marine. Okay. Now we got the motor tied on. Go ahead and check the oil. Do a little visual inspection here. We'll take a look at what the motor's looking like. It's looking super nice, super healthy. I've been greasing it a ton with WD-40 after each use. Here's the hookup for my external tank, but we're gonna go ahead and check the oil. Good. Okay, connect the gas. It's good. Now, next up, we got the seat. You can check out the other video that I did. Link in the description. And I'll flash a little card on the top. But what we got here with the seat is for these bolts with wing nuts that have holes drilled. My dad helped me with install. Just go like this, like so. We got the batteries here. So you gotta make sure you charge your electronics the night before. And then the batteries come out. I, I do all my own electrical. So these are the connections that I use. That's the end and then I connect lines with the waterproof connector. So I'll probably do a video when the time comes and I gotta rewire stuff, how I rewire. But lithium battery and one lead acid in here. This is for the fish finder, this is for the bait tank. Right, so these go. Okay, now next up, check the gas. How much gas do we have? I've ran out of gas out there before too. So we're not going very far, but it looks like it's pretty much full. Goes down in like so. See, money always firing up just like that. Got the radio, and then we got the bait tank, which is up front here. So let's hear it, and the motor's right here. Let's see if it's working. There you go. That pump that's cut in by OEX right there will feed water up here. Which brings us to our next, let's get the rod holders going. The rod holders were inside here for transportation up to Northern California. Now we can put them back on. So we go three on this left side, back here with the Scotty rods. Here. This one can be used to just hold rods straight up and down, or you can turn it sideways and troll with it. 
Okay, that side set with rod holders. There's the, that's how I get water to stay in the bait tank. There's with the, the line that feeds it. Okay, next up is the tackle. So here's with our plan of attack for tackle in San Diego Bay today is we're gonna roll with uh, this pen school reel right here. We're gonna put the sabiki rig on it to be able to catch some live bait. Might have to get a smaller size hook from Squid Co. This is a size eight. They do go a little bit smaller with it for some of the bait in the bay. They're not as big as the bait in La Jolla. So you gotta use a smaller size hook for your sabiki. And then I'll use one of these weights here for the end of the sabiki. And I'll put the sabiki on this. This is a, a ugly tiger stick Shakespeare rod. Like I said, that being uh, conventional level wine, real pen. The Abbott, the lever drag SX Abbott. We're gonna put live bait for if we if we get live bait, we're gonna fish halibut on that. We got a, a two watt ring Gamagatsu circle hook here, and on some twenty pound Yozuri pink fluorocarbon. Put that through. Uh, put a swivel connection at the end of the main line Which I use white braid right here. This is 80 pound white braid Avid on the Proteus rod and Then I'll go ahead and put a swivel on the end of that braid I'll just tie I'll go, I'll go straight through there like that the braid coming through That'll be our live bait for halibut setup. We're just gonna use the single hook, no trap hook. And then we're gonna mess around with different plastics here and lures. Here's the eighth ounce hookup baits. It comes in the three pack. This is red crab. This one's the purple one. These are my two favorite colors right here. This is an underspin cool baits. You can put different plastics on these heads. That's what it comes with the head right here. This is a three eighth. Then I got the, um, we'll see when I mess around with this. So let's get this stuff tied up, here we go. All right, first up, tie up the sabiki. One. Now we go with the live bait. Okay, this part's supposed to go towards the top. It's offset. All right, there's setup number three. You got the Shimano neck save on the scimitar rod spinning with the hookup bait. We're starting off with purple, but we got a whole lot of other stuff to work with. We'll experiment with, check it out. But we're gonna go to Squid Go, pick up the fishing license and some scent for these plastics also. There's the other setups, the halibut live bait setup and the uh, sabiki for catch and bait. So here we go. SD Fish and Sips 2021. 2021 now, January. First fishing outing of the year. I'm stoked, I'm excited. So I'm bringing to you a little more detail of exactly how I'm setting stuff up. Go ahead and comment and let me know what you think, what you like and, oh, I got one question though for the viewers. Please comment on this, am I allowed to use three treble hooks on these lures. Can I troll these little mini Rapalas if they have three trebles or do I need to take one off? Comment down below and let me know. Thanks for watching. Boom, got the rods and reels, setups loaded up. A couple of other items that I already had in my truck. I got my net, gotta have that along with uh, my measuring device is in my vest. And these are all the clothes and, and boots that I wear, shoes that I wear. And then, 
you got the uh, ice chest here and the kill bag to be able to hold the fish afterwards. Okay, now the tackle goes inside the solo skiff. We're gonna try something new right here, first time. See, wow. The bag works in it, that's money, that's big time. Locked and loaded, ready to go. There's the setup. That's how I get ready for San Diego Bay solo skiff fishing. Let's do it. Check out the new skid plate install. You can see the video. I'll put the link in it in the description. H bar, ready to go. Slay some halibut, some bay bass. Looking good. Boom. All right, here we go. A little B-side clip right here for you. I'm prepping the gear going out I got to make some networking calls so I got my um, wired air Apple uh, headphones in here and I got it hooked up right here to the vest pocket this is the best way I like to do it I've lost a phone in the bay right there and I've uh, come not come back with a set of airpods before going out and put them into my dry bag right here I always like to keep one of these dry bags and then I got my coffee and my water and then my two GoPros, the one I'm filming on now. And then I got this one, I put it on the gaff or I have it on the pole right there. Here we are rolling up to the launch. Uh, empty, quiet day here. Nice, calm, good weather. Sun's finally starting to come out. Rolling up on the action. We got SD Fish and Sips YouTube. We got the dock cast going, the podcast coming at you. So we're fishing Squid Coast style representing here. Pool baits, hookup baits, and candy bar plastics. San Diego Bay style. Let's do it. Let's go. I see it's a little squirrelier. Let's go. Showtime. Look at that. And the bait tank turned on in here. Okay, take a look what's going on right here. I got my lithium battery. I got this from Fast Lane in Mission Bay. And then this is my connection for the fish finder that's powered off the lithium. We'll go ahead and plug in the bait tanks. We're gonna to try to make bait. Boom, like so. With all my plastics and then my extra tackle in there. Now we check the bait tank up front, make sure it's pumping. There it is. Okay. Bam. Money. Squidco earlier. Here's my goodie bag from Squidco. I got my hot sauce. That's some attractant for my plastics that I'm gonna be using. And I got these plastics right here. These are candy bar plastics. And I got ones with the red bellies. So we're gonna go ahead and give these a shot. We'll put it on. Right now we got the hookup bait. We'll fish this hookup bait for a little bit and then we'll mix it up. We're gonna go try to, first things first, we're gonna go to the bait barge and try to 
go make some bait at the bait barge with the sabiki. I got the load, the sabiki loaded, like I was showing you before, on the pen right here. So these are these hooks are a little bit big. I forgot to get the smaller hooks at Squid Co. But we'll see how this works out. That's really cool. That's the inside of a bait barge. Seeing some marks down low. Dig it up and down slowly. See if you got any bait here. Making bait with the seals. Oh. All right, I'm already over it. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna move over. We're gonna go play with the jig. This is where it's at, right here. Star of India, San Diego. That's how we're rolling. <laughs> Let's go. That's the kiss kissing statue right there. I see that one a lot right there, the cougar. Hook up, babe. That's looking good on that kayak, man. I like it. That's the OG. Nice, dude. Where's drop Yeah, no, we're we're at 14 here, and then it's starting to slope. It looks like the ridge. There's a nice little it banks in right over here. It looks like we're at 18 feet right here, just a little to the left. Yeah, now this is 20 feet right here. Yeah, it's, it's really good tides today. The tide movement? Yeah, you get that on the on the half moons, it's no movement, and then the full moons are and the new moons are when you oh there I'm already getting hit, dude. Wow. Oh Jake is on! Oh from Mission Bay over here to San Diego Bay. Jake's working the net rig, doing his magic with the spotty. Nice fish, Jake. Thanks, Mike. That way. No love here on the Coronado side with the hookup bait by the ferry landing. So we're gonna move it over to the opposite side by downtown. See what's happening over there. We got the big, big cargo ship, the Pas Pasha Hawaii. But let's go see what's going down over here. I'm not gonna go under, yeah, thank you. Oh, look at you with your glove. <laughs> He's got the glove. Got That's what I'm talking about. Nice, on the Ned rig, another one. Jacob always killing it. On the Ned rig, Ooh. making it happen. Yes, sir. Very nice, in front of the Nicole. In front of the Nicole, front of the Nicole. <laughs> There it is, poor Nicole. Here we go. By the way, Jake. Thanks, Mike. Getting bit on the hookup bait, so I'm gonna go switch it to old reliable, this right here. Just 3 8 sound sled head, red, with a big hammer paddle tail, candy bar, actually. Yeah, candy bar paddle tail, brown with the red belly, the 3 8 sled head. Let's go, put some hot sauce on it. A little fishy fish action here. Nice body. Getting it. There it is. First fish. Got it on the candy bar. That a boy Getting it. That a boy. The, honey hole. the honey hole. There you go. What'd you catch him on, Spike? Uh, I caught him on a little uh, bullet here. Little three eighths jig. Got. It's like a spotty. We got a fish. 
on the live bait. Got a little spotted bay bass action. Coming at you with the squid co hat. We're here by Bali High. Squid co. Yee You know it. Yeah. <laughs> Got one. Mixing it up with the spotty action on the hookup bait. There we go. Getting it. You. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to the channel, my fishy friends. It's your buddy Mikey here. And we got the solo skiff rigged out, ready to go. The name of the game today is gonna be San Diego Bay. So we're gonna come through here to Shelter Island, launch out of Shelter Island, fish for halibut with the hookup bait, and maybe try to catch some live bait over here at the bait barge. We'll fish that till about 10 o'clock, then it's gonna be high tide, really high tide in the morning. And the tide starts to suck out. We're gonna follow it out, and we're gonna come here and anchor up outside and go surfing. We're gonna take the nine foot longboard surfboard here. So I got this right here for Mikey. Nine footer, the enlightenment. And I'm gonna strap it to the front end of the Solo skiff, put it here. It fits right down the center. Boom, from here to the tip. I was thinking about doing it sideways like this, but I don't want to ding up the board with all the other stuff. So here we go, let's get it. It's 2021 now, and we're going surfing off the solo skiff today. So check it out, here we go, let's do it. I took it far, I went down to the, uh... The 302, I went down to Mexico. We went out to the 302. Yeah. I went down to Coronado a couple years ago. I took it down to the Coronado Islands when the ramp was shut down here from Mission Bay, uh, down to the Coronado. Mission Bay down to the Coronado. Yeah. And I was right next to San Diego. <laughs> it was 4th of July. I ended up getting a, a, a yellow. I, I, I was getting a bunch of Benito and Calico down there. And then finally on 4th of July, the flat fall, I got a yellow. What's that? Oh yeah, they've hooked me. Yeah, that's what it's been happening lately. They've been giving me a lot of bait. No, but everyone's just giving me fired up. Dude, I love your videos, man. Yeah, nine mile bait. Okay, launching out. We got the surfboard on the front. Got the skyline there in the back. And just had a couple good uh, greetings and meetups with a couple good people. I got Clay who owns Old Gloria Boat. And he's telling me about Texas fishing and backcountry skiing utah i'm filming back in the day and then uh, jeremy right there was fishing on his kayak said it was pretty slow morning for him uh, he's fishing the bucktails and the metal jigs and didn't get any bites but the tide's sucking out now we're gonna make our way out we're gonna fish a little bit here with the ned rig i got the ned rig already ready to go i caught a halibut off the ski beach dock third cast on sunday on that and then we're gonna go surf the point out there. So here we go, SD Fishing Sims doing it. Double whammy today, we got the surfboard and we got the fishing gear. So let's get it, here we go. Okay, so here it is. There's the Ned rig that we're working with. There you have it. I just broke my rod and uh, lost my Ned rig. I got stuck on the bottom here, drifting it along the bottom. And then I pulled too hard and snapped my rod tip. So I'm gonna call it a day for fishing and stick to surfing. That's a bummer, but lesson learned. That's what happens when you high stick and you put your rod tip too high. You snap it off like that. Stupid. Now I gotta get a new rod, see what the deal is. Bummer. Lesson learned.
this is the life right here. Got my surfboard, I got my coffee, got my tunes, I got San Diego in the background. Life is good, I'm so blessed. Get that flyby. Got the Coast Guard working. Got the Navy ship. Got the chopper. Air Force, you got it all here in San Diego. That's how we're doing it. Yeah, exactly. But there's like no so, so you want to get it for like information on different spots and or no, it's like something to watch. Yeah, well, so do you put it on YouTube while you're driving? We're getting out here, out past the point. Got some lobster commercial traps out here. Ran into Ryan Petty catching the craze, an Osai kayak guy. We're gonna go ahead, they're going to Fish Calico. So that was cool, I was telling them about the podcast and you know, the plans in the future. And then look at this, the surf is absolutely pumping and nobody out. Woohoo! Ton of birds going on out there. I'm not gonna get distracted though. Got the break right here, a couple bows posted up. We are in 30, almost 30 feet of water. Coming into the spot, I'm trying to decide how I want to tie up. So I'm gonna go ahead and tie off to this kelp strand, and then I'm gonna use my anchor and anchor up. So go ahead and grab, grab this right here. See how this holds, and then also put the anchor out. Tie it right here to the side. And I got an anchor. All right, take the anchor, tie it off, drop it down right here. 40 feet right now. I think I have 50 feet worth of rope. Tie it off. Doesn't look like we're moving. Go ahead and kill the engine. Get changed, let's go. Here we go. Surf time. Got it, coffee. We'll start surfing. Let's go. Here we go. Surfing from the shore. Let's get. Let's get some. <laughs> 